Hello everyone, my name is Harish Kumar and welcome to our new series on setting up Ubuntu web development environment. I have received lots of queries like how to install Valley on Linux, what is your terminal, how to install JSON terminal and so many similar queries. So I have decided to create a dedicated series where I will explain setting up Ubuntu development environment from scratch. So if you are new to this channel, hit the red subscribe button and press bell icon so you could receive notifications for the future videos. So now let's start with the Ubuntu OS installation. At the time of recording, the current Ubuntu version is 20.04. So download the Ubuntu ISO file from here. This is the official Ubuntu website. So to save time, I have already downloaded it right here. I'm going to install the Ubuntu on the virtual box. If you don't have experience in installing Linux, so following along with the virtual machine is easier to set up. And of course, you don't risk breaking anything. I will not recommend you virtual box for your regular work because it is very slow. I will suggest you separate machine or you can use dual booting. You can download the virtual box from this link. I have already downloaded and installed it right here. So here in this virtual box, we need to create a virtual machine. So click this new button. So here in this name, I will say Ubuntu and it has automatically detected the type Linux version Ubuntu 64 bit. If it is not selected, you can select it from this drop down. Now click the next button. Because the virtual machine is very slow, so I'm going to increase the RAM. Click next and create next. Here I'll select the fixed size because it is better in performance as compared to dynamically allocated. This dynamically allocated will use the space according to the space used by the virtual machine. Now click the next button. So here I'm going to select the RDX, let's say 35 GB. Now create and here we have next let's click the setting button and the system processor let's increase its process for better performance next in the display and here I will enable the 3D acceleration for better performance next in the storage here select this empty disk now in this disk we will specify the downloaded Ubuntu image so for this on this side, click on this small disk icon and from here select this choose disk file and from here navigate to the location where the Ubuntu image is located. Here I am going to select this and open and click OK. Now our virtual machine setting is done. So let's click this start button. Now in this window. From this drop down, select this Ubuntu option and click start. Maximize it. I'm going to switch it to full screen. And here we go. We have the Ubuntu installer. Here you can click this install button to start installing Ubuntu but I will click this try Ubuntu because because this Ubuntu window is very small and I want to increase its resolution. So I will click this try Ubuntu button. Now here I will click this show apps and search for the display this one. And here I'll select the screen resolution, this apply and keep the changes. And here we go. It is now full screen. Now minimize this. Now let's start installing Ubuntu. So here select the language, continue. And from here, choose your keyboard layout. In most cases, it is going to automatically detect. In case it is not detected, use the Detect keyboard layout option. And on this screen, we have options for updates and other apps installations. 
this normal installation will going to install the standard softwares like web browser libreoffice games media player and other standard softwares and this minimal installation will install only web browser and basic utilities and this option is to download the updates while installing government to select this if you have internet connection on and this option is for the third party softwares like graphics or wi-fi hardware driver generally my selection is this because i am installing in the virtual box these options going to take very long time that's why i will select the minimal installation and uncheck this and uncheck this also now click the continue button and here is the option for installation type at this point if you have empty hard disk then you will get only two options similar like this if you have installed the other os already then you will get more options accordingly because here i also want to explain you manual partition as well so here i will select something else and click this continue button now on this screen right here in this drop down installer will show all the accessible hard disk in our case that is only one which is the virtual box hard disk since this disk is new so we have to click this new partition table so click continue and it has created a empty partition now let's create our first partition so select this free space and click this plus icon the first partition i will select the boot partition and i will give it size 1000 mb and click ok next i will create this swap partition so click this plus icon and from here select the swap area this swap partition is the overflow space for the ram if ram is full then other application will run off the swap partition rather than the ram so it is always recommended to create swap partition for your system usually it is recommended that the swap area should be the double the size of the ram but i recommend never create swap area more than 4 gb because your system never going to use all the 4 gb swap area here i'll create only 1000 mb ram so let's click this ok button to create this and it's created similar like this you can create other partitions for example you can create the partition for a home drive because this virtual machine has only 35 gb hard disk so i'm not going to create more partition so here i'll select this root and click ok now all the partitions are done so next let's click this install now button now here you review your partition layout and now click continue now in this screen select your time zone location from the map and click continue button here my name is harish and let's say computer name is hero lab username is harish and password is password and next click continue and now the installation process is started i will just fast forward through this since it is nothing special you just wait for it to finish finally installation process is complete on this virtual machine it took me more than one hour to complete this process for separate machine i think it will take less than 25 minutes now let's restart Now at this point press enter to remove the installation medium. Now it is restarting the virtual machine. And here we go. Let's log in with our password. Now its resolution is again small. Let's fix this display is done on first time login it has prompted this window to to connect in these accounts 
i'm going to skip this and next 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 and done and here it has asked to update the outdated software i definitely recommend you to install this you just have to click this install now button it will ask for your password and then it will start updating the outdated softwares because it will going to take very long time so i am going to close this next i will install the virtual box driver it will going to improve the performance of this virtual machine for that from here click this device then click this insert guest edition cd image and then click this download button download and insert now click this run button because it is going to install a new package so it will ask for your permission so enter the password and authenticate installation is complete so press enter to close this window and eject this cd now we have successfully installed the ubuntu operating system this is all in this video thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel see you in the next video mm -hmm.